Just arrived in Iceland, it is cold. I got up very early this morning. Today we're looking for the Northern Lights, but I'm not convinced it's going to go. But I just did a little animation on my phone on the plane, and uh, maybe I can actually explain the physics of the Northern Lights to you. Yeah, I'll be trying to get a photo of the Northern Lights while I'm here, but really, you, if you're here, then you're interested in the physics of the Northern Lights. So if it's a little bit shaky, then excuse me, there's a bit of turbulence. We're not going to get to see the Northern Lights, that's pretty obvious to me now, it's just too cloudy, um, it's not clear enough, and also the forecast is not for Aurora. One of the guides said that she'd come, come twice in six times and still hasn't seen the Northern Lights, so that's bad. But here's my explanation anyway, so here's the Earth, and the Earth has a magnetic field around it as you know, and magnetic field lines point from north to south. The north pole of the Earth is actually the south pole of a bar magnet, so if you imagine it like a giant bar magnet, the north end of Earth would actually be the south pole of that. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles that comes from the sun. They interact by Fleming's left hand rule with the Earth's magnetic field. They therefore are deflected up to the north pole and down to the south pole. And when they meet Earth's atmosphere, in the upper atmosphere, they ionize particles in the upper atmosphere. So here's the bit that's quantum. If one of those charged particles was to collide with an atom, it might raise the electron up to a higher energy level, exciting it, we say, and then when that falls down the energy levels, it will give out light. We actually saw these northern lights very, very briefly. That's not the Northern Lights behind me, that's um, John Lennon's peace light. Uh, Yoko Ono's peace light. Yeah, Yoko Ono lit, lit that light. Um, on, that light is turned on on John Lennon's birthday and it is turned off on the day of his death. So that's Yoko Ono who's done that. But that's um, not the Northern Lights. We saw it actually, well, this was, we were coming after dinner and we saw it over there somewhere. But uh, we walked down to the beach to get a little, walked down to the water to get a little bit less light. But you can see it's Reykjavik and it is light. And um, it's now raining, so by the time we got here, there's no chance to see it really. Uh, so, disappointment, but um, it's just not.